So we're back in end zone. It is the end of the drought. Following up on that for breakfast episode, I'll put all these in a in a single playlist. That way, it's easy to uh, to consume um, and follow the timeline here because this is going to be like a pretty much like an extended review. I fell absolutely in love with Banished, um, as you guys know, and we put out you know not a lot of episodes, but we put a lot of time into the game. Um, and I, I, I'm looking at this as like a possible contender to do the same. And it may just be throughout me learning how to play the game. <laughs> I end up doing a lot of episodes on this. So we're right where we left off. Uh, it's rainy season now, which is awesome. Uh, this is going to give us a great opportunity to build some orchards, to build some farmlands, get some stuff going. And we, we have at least four seasons here of good, solid, see rain over here. Yeah, just good, solid food compatible <laughs> uh, weather. So. Let's go ahead and start moving, shifting people around, putting them back in their jobs and everything, because we shifted everybody around previously to get them into uh, other positions. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. First water carrier, we obviously got to keep that thing going. Uh, we'll put three in there. We have Fisher. We have a lot of Fisher. Who do we have here? Taylor, Refiner. Uh, let me see. I don't want to take from the Refiner because it's two. We're two different buildings. Scrap Collector is out of one. Uh, which we don't actually have a scrap thing built yet, and we also don't have any scrap, so I guess we have to leave that there. Technician is a two. We only have one building that uses a technician. I wish we could click on it. It'll tell us who they are. Uh-huh. Oh, we have a couple people that are specialized in this. Cool. Uh, how many are actually working it, though? Let's see. Uh, work Taylor's workshop. Oh, do we have two? It's all workshop and uh, these are... Yeah, these are two different, two different jobs here. This is uh, Taylor. And this is a technician. Okay, so I don't think they need two for the. Even though we're suffering in the tools department, uh, we need scrap before we need the tools, and we're not getting scrap fast enough to keep this uh, keep the, the tools up. Uh, we have no scrap, so we might as well. If anything, we could just drop somebody out of this and put them into uh, uh, into collecting scrap. But what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and drop one technician and put him into Fisher because we still want to keep that food source coming in. Just a, a trickle, but it's something. Herder, you know, we could probably sacrifice a herder. And, hmm. I don't feel like we need two. I mean, it's a good source of, like, food, I guess, but let's put in a scrap collector. There we go. We should have some uh, kids coming of age soon. Look at this. We have Virginia and Dennis are both gonna be coming of age. So they'll be able to assist with um, growing up duties. There's a house here that's going to get built that's going to help us also continue to grow our colony slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. But uh, in a way that we can manage, of course. So let's see. We have a couple of little piglets in here too. Uh, so look at that. Six of seven. So slaughter animals already set up. Slaughter animals. Cool. Yes. When it reaches six of seven. So once we reach that, then we can start slaughtering animals. And we can adjust that number if we wanted to. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, but it's uh, producing a fair amount of food, actually. As a matter of fact, I think all of our food right now is coming from this. Because it's 1,440 production limit. Um, let me see. Oh, no, that's all food. That's all food. Okay, okay. I thought that was just there. I was like, holy crap, is all of our food coming from one location? No, it's not. I wonder if there's a break out of that. Let's take a look at the, the meters here. Uh, all the metrics. Let's see. Production. Animals. Let's see. Let's go to food. We can divvy that down. Produce. Consume. Consumed by settlers. Produce. Okay. Give you that down some more. I cannot. Okay, so I can't see exactly. Oh, I see fish. Well, hold on. There's fish, which is good. Um, let me see if there's like maybe storage. Okay, it's population. Hmm. Category. Okay. Oh, I see. So category food in general, but we can see a breakout. I wonder if I could select multiple. Sort by current stockpile inventory. Yeah, I wonder if I could select multiple and show them on the on the graphs here. Especially when it comes to food. These are all like items that we'd want to want to actually see. Control click. No shift click. No alt click. Nope. Okay. So we cannot. Uh, but we can see the numbers here, but it'd just be kind of nice to see. Like right here. Herbs dipped. That's during the droughts. Berries dipped. Droughts. Fish. Uh, fish dipped. Probably drought. Season 8. I guess that's what that is. So it even says, look at that drought. Oh, cool. Wow, they actually fleshed that out for us. That's really handy. Hey, hey, hey. You'll know when I'm out of early access, though. Uh, when uh, early access tags disappear and probably this little bug thing right here disappears. Uh, we're playing early access and I'm gonna probably film a lot of episodes in early access leading up to the actual release. So that way, because they actually, I, there's a pop-up at the beginning where it says um, kind of what their plans are going forward, which is really nice. 
and they have a timeline and it shows all the updates they've done previous updates and it shows that um there's no updates for um i think february or march or whatever leading up to launch so you like i said in the in, in the for breakfast episode this what you see is what you get recycler is not getting probably materials scrap yes this needs to get built uh needs haha <laughs> needs scrap okay so we need scrap in order to actually continue doing what we're doing here but it's gather scrap let's change the field of work here so scrap nearby yeah there's some scrap right back here here we go right in our own backyard cool build oh i don't have any workers actually oh i have two yes the, the two kids grew up probably need scrap for this as well yep okay so let's see let's build this next build next Let's go and speed things up. Let them um, gather up the scrap over here and then go over here. I love how you could see the water moving across. Oh, basically we're doing quite well. Achieve. We have everything we need for us tomorrow, but could be a bit more. That group wants to stay on the safe side so we have supplies when bad things come. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, so what does it want us to do? So this is one of the tasks. I don't think this came up during the For Breakfast episode, but yeah, this is, this is one of the tasks that you get. Uh, rewards, we get 100% happiness. So see, food stored, we'll get that. The uh, scrap stored, we're gonna get that too. Or scrap tool stored, we'll get there. Water soil, we're actually pretty close to do. Oh, activated carbon mask. That's gonna be a problem. We get to switch this over then to uh, activate carbon mask. There, that'll that'll get handled. There's lots of time to do it too. So once this gets built, it's gonna change. It's gonna change everything. Like we're gonna have just a huge influx of all kinds of uh, scrap and everything. Uh, just so long as we can keep people employed over there. This hunter's lodge, uh, he's still doing his thing. Cool, lots, lots of animals over there, which is great. Want to be something closer. There's a lot of ground to cover over there. Wow, there's nothing over here. I mean, there's just not a lot, but still, damn. I love it. This view, by the way. Just hunting, hunting for for food like this. Hunter's Lodge, but it really seems like, I mean, we're really producing a lot of food from here. I mean, this is the production limit, yes, but it says, and it says the efficiency is fine. But, like, what are we actually getting out of this? Power consumption, not hooked to the power grid. Let's see, Hunter's Lodge, see, current season 40, last season 80, two seasons ago 120. We're not really getting a lot from this. We'll keep an eye on this, but we're really not getting a ton of action here. This is done, by the way. Let's go ahead and change the... Oh, it's already got 110 scrap. <laughs> it's already got a lot of scrap. Here we go. Right, right near our house. What does it want for this? It wants what? Coal. Oh shit, that's right. It needs coal for that. Okay, so we gotta go to switch to our next thing. Charcoal kiln. All right, charcoal kiln. We'll slap this over here. A little bit of gap. We need a forester too, actually. Forester's lodge. Around, put that though. I like to. You have to build all of your like. We're gonna have to basically have a city over here, and then have all of our working stuff over here. Um, like it's just the way the game is designed. They want you to do this. This should go out. Oh, I can't put it right there. But I can put it on this side though. There we go. And I'll have them just basically chop down and replenish this area constantly, and that'll bring me a fair amount of uh, scrap. Yeah, wood is the other thing I'm short of. Oh, actually, I'm non-existent. <laughs> That's a good thing we started that, didn't, isn't it? Let's see, gather wood. Uh, let's go ahead and hit close to home again. This area. How's the scrap area doing? It's a question mark, so I'm guessing it's done. God, it's so hard to click these little... Can I click the, the question mark? No, I can't click the marker? Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's nothing left here, though, right? No, no scrap. Knees ruins. Yes, we're going to demolish this. We're done. I think we're all basically done with tasks in general, unless we're going to clear, do some clearing and whatnot. Uh, we do have a couple workers still. Four now, so the other kids grew up. Great. So we're at 21 now. It's nice and steady flow of people. That is the key. That is critical to the success here. Just like Banished. You let you you leave you leave those grown-ups alone for too long. Mm, irresponsibility. Irresponsibility. Let me see. Let's grab a road here. Logistics paved. And we'll just extend this road out from wherever it ends. Is it going to actually go over the top of the existing one? Or maybe there isn't one there. Oh, there is. Huh. Will it actually go over the existing? Yeah, look at that. Let me let me layer over like yeah, these three here. What will it do? Nothing. Okay, good. Good, because that would be dumb. <laughs> that would be dumb. Uh-oh. That was a death. I think. Uh, oncoming drought. Oh, we have a drought coming up. Okay, cool. 
Ooh, we gotta get water stored up. We don't have a lot of water. We're gonna switch these guys up. How much what we got here? This is, uh, okay, the well is doing fine. We could probably build another well just to keep that moving. Let's get the charcoal burner in there. We have a forester, let's do that. So we have nobody basically working to collect, which is fine because this is done anyway. So we kill that, kill that, demolish. Okay, so now now we're gonna go in, into semi-slow mode here, right? We're gonna go two x speed instead because we want to keep track of this um, of what's coming up here. Workforce it needs what? It needs coal? Yes, 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 yes. We have a coal guy working. We're gonna have coal. It's gonna go to the storeroom. It's gonna go to here, and we're gonna be good to go. Why are they going to the back side? Why are these guys all walking on the back side? Did they put roads back there too? I mean, I probably was going to anyway, but still. Use the roads! Stock up on water, stock up on water. I think we should probably build another well. Elsewhere, obviously. Let me see, water, well. Does it actually put out a... Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to diminish... Let's see. Oh yeah, cool, they don't seem to care. I mean, we'll see when it actually builds, but, you know, it doesn't seem like they'll care. We could put up water here and then have it, um... Uh, then have it put it in a storage. It was like a storage unit kind of thing. Let me see. I want to make it flat enough. And then we'll put a... Cistern needs a jetty well or rainwater. There we go. Oh, it's a little too big. Hmm. We put it right here then. Okay, so let's get out of this view. Need scrap, remove radiations, first thing they're gonna do. Okay, this guy, they're still working. I don't think they could get these. Oh yeah, they can, look at that. House ruin. There are these points of interest, which is something I didn't also did not touch up on uh, during the For Breakfast episode. Bob Bill just came right down. Um, and those are triggered by uh, uh, these special like expeditions that you could set up. And they're really cool. They're it's a completely separate game, uh, like a mini game inside of this. Uh, you send some dudes out and you have to give them, uh, uh, when they get there, they radio in. You tell them what, they, what you want them to do. And it's just great. Okay, so what are we doing here? Forest is lodged. Cut down, yeah, cut down and reforest. Good. Do we have any other adults? We don't. We have builders. We don't have many, many adults to spare. Uh, let's see, scrap collector, refiner. Who can I sacrifice? I need two well keeps also. Hmm. My food supply is going pretty well. We're not gonna need any of these guys when the when the uh, thing gets here. I think we should let's pull on the tailor. Let's pull on the scrap collector reluctantly. Obviously, I want to keep at least one person at every location. Refinery, just simply because I have two locations that are using it. So, uh, and then we'll put these guys into uh, a well keep and a um, little water carrier. These droughts are the those those are the ones that that get you. <laughs> oh, this radiated water coming out of this, not our food. We'll have to worry about taking care of that later. There is a way to purify that. Of, in, in a way, let me see. How does that work? Let me see if I can remember from my from my training, from my three and a half hour training. <laughs> Decontamination post. Here we go. Uh, you see, use storage, free food. Okay, there, there we go. Big plastic. Yeah. Right now, we focus on getting getting past this next step here with the the drought, and then we will uh, switch over. Let's go and speed things up a little bit. We have four kids. Got another one, looks like, and we have uh, two more adults coming in. Let's go and switch and see. Two more adults popping in in three, two, oh well, well, maybe a little bit longer. Probably put them in forestry. Or maybe water carrying. Probably water carrying, make the most sense. Water tank level, good, this is getting full. Or it's, it's, it's functioning, I should say, not getting full. I think we have enough here. Yeah, good. Extremely pleased that you made sure that we were able to work so well with what we've got in stock. The mood of the settlement is getting better. I already forgot about that. <laughs> Yay! I knew we would hit that, that those goals. It wasn't too much of a problem. We do have to build a decontamination post at some point. But yeah, this is a broad, broad reach. So we could just post this somewhere. Let's try to encapsulate as much as we can. Let me see... 
Oh, I could squeeze it in here. Look at that. Ugly. Let me see. Could. Yeah, ugly, but, um, you know, if it works and it has a good reach, I think that's good. And that'll eliminate. You don't want too much, obviously you don't want too much radiation for obvious, like, reasons. You know, like, obvious reasons that we as real people understand. Um, but in the game, there's a sterility issue. So if you allow them to... Yeah, okay. You have radiation problems. Um, if you allow them to continue to consume resources that are contaminated, they will absolutely begin to... Um, uh, they'll, they'll stop being able to have kids and all kinds of stuff. So this jetty uh, is feeding this pretty well. Um, let me see. Upgrade, upgrade this building to what? Uh, oh, water tower. That's right. Yes, water tower. Hold more. Right now we're doing pretty good with the wells. I think we're probably good for water through the drought. I mean, we still have a whole season to prepare here. We have a uh, new grown-ups. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. Yes, we do. New grown-ups. So let's put them into uh, water carriers just to keep that. Let's see. There's a scrap collector, forester. They can still scrap collect and they can still forest. Once, uh, oh, decontaminator. We should probably put one there. But yeah, they can still do that stuff during a uh, during a drought. My two builders are working their asses off. Plastic. Oh! Plastic got me. You got me. Let's see, it's recycler. Just gonna flip this. Right, and we're gonna eventually build another. Oh, is that crooked or something? What is the deal there? Oh, it is. Whoops. Hold on. Let's cancel that construction. The recycler. Well, okay, wrong one. <laughs> and we'll put, there we go. We will eventually need one here, but I'm not gonna build it just yet. Because we have electronics that are, that are going to be coming as well. So you're going to make plastic. They make plastic out of uh, scrap, I think. So the scrapyard working. All these guys doing their thing. How's this guy's hunting lodge going? Oh, it's going fine, I guess. Like, can you work closer to home? God, I really wish you could work closer to home. All this running he's doing all the way out there. I don't want to build roads just for that because eventually those things are going to go away. How's this guy's output, though? Current season 80. God, 80, 80, 80. All right, here we go. Getting into the drought season. We're at 1,900. We did not really increase this number very much, but we have two wells that are functioning. So hopefully we can continue to maintain or at least um, prevent or mitigate the losses that we're going to take during the season. Kids, where are you at? Jonathan's about to come of age. Nice job. Look at these guys. It's getting a lot of scrap out of it. I got a ton of scrap right now. Okay, here we go. So beginning of the season, We'll slow things down to a one, and then we're gonna start making some workforce changes. We're gonna eliminate um, workforce here. Actually, this is to do this from this board. Oops. Um, I will eventually learn these buttons here. So we don't need. We're gonna put him in the herding. Keep those animals in line. Uh, we don't need so many water carriers because we have very little actual water needs at the moment. Forestry, we could go ahead and bump that up. Uh, refiner, we get another person in there to so work on that. Um, the well person will obviously will keep well keeping. Hunter, I mean, I hope the hunter is still able to hunt. It is still, I mean, the season hasn't really fully kicked in yet. You'll know because this whole area goes, just goes to hell. I mean, it's so lush. But yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. I did a good job with this visual. Here it is. Look at this. It's kind of creeping over this, over the hill. Slowly, slowly starts to take over. A time lapse. We could do this. Just a time lapse. And now it's gone. We can still get trees though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and extend out their field of work here. Keep them. There you go. Since he's working over there, I wonder if I just have him just chop all this stuff down. How are we doing on wood? Yeah, let's let's just switch just a straight cutting down, and we'll change the fields over here. Just chop, chop, and then this guy is working over here anyway, so he doesn't necessarily need all this. There's still there's still wild animals and such, which is good. What do you get over here? Oh, there was food there. Wild boar, wild boar meat, forty. And look at that, we're already uh, we're already through. We're already through. That was style, man. So much easier. 
so much easier when we have uh when you have your shit under control when you're under control let's check in with these houses here oh good so the old people have moved out that's what i want to see i want to see old people moving out there we go very old very old very old do we have enough young adults those very old are going to start fading quickly very quickly um like i said i, th I felt like they only last about 18 seasons and then they're done and you can see we have a bunch of very old so we're going to see some uh, people uh bouncing here very shortly so do we have enough young folks we have one adult two adults we could put them in a house three four we have four we have two possible pairs wait i need to look at the genders here for the sex let me see adults hold on this is like male male uh oh one female uh oh hmm we should build a house because most of our young adults are males and if we're gonna reproduce well you guys know <laughs> if we're gonna reproduce you know come on you know let's see housing they got put the thing in the thing so let's see let's gonna put another house over here on the end oh wait, so this is a shelter we'll put this around the shelter yeah because this is not going to be enough. We have three kids. They're going to come of age pretty quickly. And we're going to lose probably about six adults. So yeah, we need to build. We'll build two. And then we'll... Let's go ahead and build some um, roads around here as well. It's already a road across there, which is good. Build a road from here to here. Which means we got to start investing in a graveyard. Not yet, though. No one's died. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to jump the gun or anything, you know? Everybody's still... They're still alive, so, you know. Wood's coming in at a much faster... Oh, never mind. <laughs> and someone just died. Let's see. Jesse, a water carrier died of old age was replaced by another settler. Yes, yeah, so we did have people that were in, in, in the... Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, we had one person that had gr grown up, apparently. Fish, we have nobody fishing. Yes, yeah, so we need we do need to expand. I think two houses is reasonable. We do have to also now build a like I said, um what is that under? Logistics? I mean you have to move the body somewhere, right? So there's a little bit of logistics there. Community. Cemetery, yep, cemetery. Now one thing I discovered uh in my testing, you can <laughs> Destroy a full graveyard and replace it. No problem. <laughs> Is it gonna bring people down if it's too close? No, it's not. Hmm, I wonder if I should put it real, real close to these guys. I don't want to put it over here. It's like all farmland out here. And right here feels it's too accessible. Like too easy to get to here. Let me, um, I'll put it out here. We'll line it up though, but we'll still put it out here. There we go. But yeah, uh,. Yeah, I didn't do too well in, in some of my first attempts here, and I needed to uh, make so I didn't have enough room. I didn't really plan or space. Everything was kind of built very close, similar to how I typically build in Banish. You know, you kind of build like a town center, you kind of build everything around it. Well, because there's so much um, animosity towards industrial buildings being too close to, you know, living spaces, that tended to uh, influence the way that I, you know, how I have to build. I have to build a much more kind of expanded uh, environment. And these maps are pretty big. Like overall, they're pretty, pretty good size. Let me see. Uh, where's my, oh yeah, yeah, over here. Oh gosh, I'm going the wrong way, wrong way. Yeah, so there's, here's, okay, so here's my town center, right? You see how tiny, how tiny my people are. And I'll just go all the way to the corner here. To here. Pretty good size. Pretty good size to start. Oh, that's actually, I'm a little, a little north of uh, center too. So, yeah. That's a good amount of space to expand into. I believe you could probably go bigger than this. I'm not sure. This soil is screwed, by the way. We have a no, it's a no rain season, that's why. And you can see it creeping. You can also, you can also remedy that as well. That's all, that's something you can definitely remedy using uh, buildings. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, what's wrong with you? You say you need coal. Yes. How's up? Oh, there's nobody. Oh, uh, it's plastic recyclers. Nobody's no workforce there. Yeah, I did pull that down. Nobody fishing. Nobody uh, at the workshop. Nobody over here because people are dying. We lost a couple more people as well. So, so let's see. Um, foods, foods going down, but we don't really have a lot of people now. So, you know, uh, decontaminator we need. We don't technician. Forester. We're doing really good on scrap. Maybe we go ahead and give the scrap a break? Let's go and pull a forester first. No, 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 no. We'll pull we'll pull the scrap guy. We'll keep an eye on it. Go back to technician here. And then we'll have him him or her make a make scrap tools. Is that what I really need right now? I mean it's something, but still. My hmm damn. Damn 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 damn. I need another person on charcoal burner to get that thing moving. Oh yeah, there's nobody working here, so the, the refiner need another person. There we go. Okay. I mean, it's not like I have coal left over anywhere, right? I don't have a whole lot of coal, but still. So yeah, I think building another house is good. We'll get um. Yeah, we have a lot of children coming up. Four children. Good. Just went up. How's our water doing here? Good. Is this outside of the decontamination range? It sure is. So I could pull up decontaminated water or contaminated water. We'll be mindful of that. Season 19. I feel like we're doing about like almost like 10 seasons per episode here. Ish. We have a rainy season coming up. Here it is. Well, the lush green comes back. How's this uh, output? 40. Two seasons ago, minus 17. Man, I don't, adding more hunters is not going to solve this problem if, if there's just not a lot of meat. I mean, there there's three over here. Or maybe there is. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe, no, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, having he does take a long time to get out there, so yeah, maybe I am incorrect here. Forest lodge. Oops. Forest lodge is just uh, very slowly wrecking, but wrecking. <laughs> What's your production look like? Uh, 48, 48. Okay. So yeah, obviously, more people we get there, the better. There's no like settlers have moved in kind of thing. So with no protective clothing, yeah, I was worried about that. There's no like us uh, people have visiting are visiting from another settlement or anything. Not that I've seen anyways. Um, Taylor shop. Activate next. Go switch to next scarves here. It'll be easier to produce. Activate a carbon mask with cars charcoal, I believe. Yeah, so we could cut that out of the loop and switch back to just generating cloth-based materials. For example, there's lots of metal. Oh, lots of metal here, actually. Hmm, can we spend that on? Well, instead of spending it, we could swap this guy over to making um, I don't know if there's anything plastic, but Cloth to keep this guy busy over here. So there's nobody working the scrapyard. It's correct. We still have a fair amount of scrap though. Not really building anything right now. Let's go take a stroll and see what's here. Food station, water points, decontamination post. I mean another decontamination. All this requires people. Hmm. I could build a campfire. That'll make them happy. Oh gosh, that's a huge campfire. What the heck? What's the influence range? Oh, it's pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty big. We should build it. It doesn't require anybody to man it, right? We can upgrade this building too. What does it need? Wood, scrap, construction progress. Cool. Yeah. That'll just give us more storage, more, um, more, what else? What else? More other stuff. <laughs> so fish, berries, all that. Our water's okay. Our food has been hanging on. Let's take a look at our, our metrics here. Overall food category is just steady. Steady, steady. Our production is low, but our consumption is low too. That was a death. No, oncoming drought. Oh, we have another drought coming up. Okay, well, we're not going to get to that in this episode. <laughs> uh, oh, workforce. We lost somebody else. Ooh, nobody replaced them. 
I say we strip a builder and put him in to the refiner. No mortician yet, but nobody's really upset that uh, that there are people, dead people on the streets yet. <laughs> that is literally a complaint that I got. Dead people in the streets. Look, we have seven, seven children now. So good. It's, my, my plan is working. It was just a little late in execution. So we are going to get a decent amount of replenishment here of people probably over the next few seasons. That drought is going to be a little scary because now we're going to have back up to our 23 or so uh, mouths to feed. Maybe more depending on how many of the pop out kids before then. I mean, the well is working. We're not, we're not fishing. We're not doing any of that stuff. Um, I wonder if we should. Uh, we have no, we have no protective clothing. You're working on it though. Yeah, it's, he's working on it. It's working on it. What is your? What are you pointing to over here? To this? Oh, because your materials are going from oh, from there. Yes, from there because the storehouse right next to it is not convenient enough. Uh, there's clothes, there's, there's in stock. I wonder if reserve means in this location. The amount of resources that are reserved to be picked up by settlers for consumption for, for work tasks. Yeah, and in stock is just uh, probably in general. So yeah, there's 70, I mean, I'm guessing that over here there's probably 80 in reserve, right? Let's see inventory. No, okay. Hmm. I don't know what that means then. We're going to reserve it in stock. Uh, we lost another person, it looks like. We, <laughs> Oh, God. Let's see, uh, oh boy. You know what? We have enough. We don't need to cruise some more cloth. Oops, 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 no, you keep doing cloth. Um, let's have this guy, this guy or girl, like, stop. We're gonna eliminate that workforce there. Uh, of this one building. This one. There we go. And then we're going to up the water carrier. Or, actually, no, well, mm, water carrier take care of that? No. Well keeper. There we go. Trying to expand on, on a skeleton crew is hard. We're at 23, 23 miles to feed. But that's gonna be a lot, that's gonna be a lot of adults coming very, very quickly. Look at them, look at them go. Little young, they're young adults too, plenty of time. Ah, here we go, unhappy. Oh, okay, is it because of radiation or is it because of, it's you, what's your problem here? Well, it looks on unhappy. Bastion, not wearing a mask though, that might be the problem. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, confidence. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. So, a relative of the seller died and has no grave. Yeah, well... Ah, oh, man, you know, I want to help you. But, like... I'm running thin here. I could sacrifice a... My water is getting so low right now. Okay, you know what? You're gonna have to deal with it. You suck. Oh, this sucks, but you have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm actually going to drop a decontaminator and put it into a uh, water carrier. We have adults coming soon. We could replenish that and we could put one in mortician. <sighs> we have one builder. I'm not building anything right now though. Let's put this person in. Water carrying. The last, the last one was easy, but we had also twice the amount of water. Like, we had no problems last time. Like, what is our season output here? Current season, last season, minus 31 for what? Water, and then water. Hmm. I guess there's a usage value as well for operating. Current season. Okay, so we're still at a net gain. And the other one, also a net gain. Good. But it's just not, that's not enough, though. Like, that's just strictly not enough. Okay, here we go. We have, we've lost another adult, but we've gained another child. So, we're gonna be, uh, pushing it. <laughs> we are absolutely gonna be pushing it. Okay, another adults. Good, there we go. We got two adults. And we have nine children. Okay. Uh, they have one season to collect. Let's put them here. Water, water, water. Get that water moved. Get that water moved. They could deal without, what is this? Uh, medication for a bit. <laughs> You have to, they have to just deal with it. They have to just deal with it. Our settlers believe that their base supply is safeguarded. They think the time has come to do something for culture or quality of life too. After all, we want to live 
and not merely survive. Oh man, what do you want? Metal tool produce, radiation suit produce, buildings in the category decorations. Okay, well that part's easy. We don't have no builders though. <laughs> God, can you guys just wait? Can you guys just wait, please? Their happiness is just grim. One of these kids is gonna grow up, turn 18, and start just like lugging bodies out to the graveyard. That's gonna be their job. Oh wait, actually, I didn't build. Oh yeah, it's down over here. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. This is painful. This is painful. This is part of the game. Part of the game. All we gotta do is survive. All we have to do is survive. Yes, you can live without that for just a minute. No protective clothing. We are working on it. I mean, by we, I mean like nobody apparently. We're making lots of plastic though. We're doing plastic. 50. Okay, you're gonna convert to cloth. Because we only have one person. Refining. <sighs> Make cloth. Put it over here. And now we go into the drought. Drought season. This thing never got finished. Let me see. No builders available. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We lost another adult. We have two adults coming in. Old age. Okay. Good. Another adult right there. Two adults. Let's put one there and put the other one. Uh, well, the lake's dry. <laughs> we have no hunter. The hunter died of old age as well. But we noticed that previously that the hunter was still uh, collecting food. So, and we have, we have food here as well, so if we need to chop chop, then we will. We have one mortician now, so the body should be getting off the street. We should start seeing bodies over here. Uh, now that we've, we're, we're assigned change field of work. Really? Oh yeah, 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 like all of this. One grave, cool, so that's operable. We have another doll coming up, I believe, yep. Water supply is doing good. People are happier. Look at this. Okay, almost. <laughs> almost what? Slow your let's see. Oh, oncoming sandstorm. No, not a sandstorm. <sighs> well, well, you, you guys are about to see your first sandstorm. Here it comes. You can see it on the mini map right there. Let's follow it. There it is. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing we could do to stop it from happening, of, of course. But there's also nothing we could do, um, currently, oh, over here, um, to stop it, uh, from doing damages to, well, we don't have any crops or anything, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, we have damaged buildings that are going to be damaged. So cool, we cap off that drought with a sandstorm. Only a few damages here and there. Not not too bad. Pasture's still good. Wild boar's still good. Water's still good. We're gonna come out of this season strong. Uh, you know, some damages here and there, but we do have some adults coming. Uh, we have four more adults coming. That gets back up to our 20. Uh, and I think we probably... Oh, no, we have more. More kids are gonna get made. A couple young adults here. They're so young and spry. They can work this out. Let me see. You got a couple more here. A couple more here. We have lots. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you yeah, Okay, good. There it is. So, we have one... Uh, one of the continue building. Nobody has to work this right now. Good. Um, now we can get back to business. We're going to go ahead and uh, let this play into the next season here so we can just start configuring things. So I remember what I'm doing next time. Let the waters come. The rain and there we go. And now we have a whole bunch of adults. Cool. Let's go ahead and put people back on jobs. So you, you, no scrap collectors, but scrap is still really high, so I'm okay with that. Um, tail no tailors, that's a big issue. So we could eliminate or drop down the water carrier some. And then uh, decontaminator, one there, one tailor. And then one technician for tools. Yes, we want tools. Yeah, tools are breaking, so they're, they're upset about that. And we have lots of scrap, so we could go through it. There we go, and we have eight more children in the wings. So, yes, we do need, we did need to expand this. Lack of tools, I understand. Um... That I, I don't think I completed the other task though, did I? Workshop metal tool produced. You want metal tools though? I'm not producing. Oh yeah, I have, I have metal produced actually. Yeah. There we go. Let's pop to that. That'll be taken care of. Reward, get five more tools. This one, three metal tools. Oh, I got two back to back that are actually very similar. Uh, rad suit produced. I could swap that up. Uh, switch that out here. Rad suit here with plastic, coal. Yeah, we got those. 
And then, uh, decoration. That's right, decorations. I have one builder. Let me go and set decorations, because I will forget this next time. And then, we'll go from there. Decorations. Let me see. Mm, 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 mm. How about a nice shrub? Look at this shrub. The shrub of destiny. No, no, I know, I know, I know. A street lamp. No, 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 no. A scrap totem. There we go. There. How much scrap does it take? 25 scrap! I got enough scrap, that's fine. How much does it influence the area? Four. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, we out there. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna get picky here. Just a little picky. A little picky. I don't need to see anything. Let's go and scrap it. We're gonna scrap it. Cancel. We're gonna put it over here, actually. That way you can influence the area over here. Let's see, builds. Scrap totem. Look at that, 12. That's what we want. Because we're gonna build- this is where we're gonna build houses. There's no point in, in making, you know, the farm happy. <laughs> Perfect! Alright, location attractiveness. That's where we end for today. Slow it down a little bit. We have another adult, just another kid grew up. Fantastic. We can put them to work. And then, uh, what is a scrap collector? There we go, keep that moving. Alright. Hurting on food a little bit. So actually we'll go ahead and take another one of these out and put it over here in the fishing. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one very, very long review. <laughs> uh, what's your problem? Oh, health. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. We'll have to solve later. Woo! The game is definitely punishing uh, for people just trying to, trying to figure it out. And I feel like we're taking the safest route. We're going to get the most out of this run. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get to the point to where the game just runs itself. Like in Vanish, you could just get to the point where the game just basically plays itself. Um, I don't think that's going to happen here, so we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. This game is called Endzone, A World Apart. I'll see you guys later.